transformative technology uh, in the late 80s because it was the first industry standard windowing system that took off uh, and gave Unix and later Linux a GUI front end. And, uh, we had some manuals on programming this thing and we were licensing them to a couple of companies and we, we uh, thought, oh, let's try selling it to consumers. And we, we, so we kind of announced that we had these things for sale and we had an off friend who worked with MIT so he gave us his office and we had a line of hundreds of people outside. We only had 30 copies. So we went out and printed hundreds more and set up a table outside on the, you know, outside the door of the conference and people started throwing money at us. And we ended up selling 10,000 copies of these unfinished manuals with the promise that we'd send, uh, you know, a, a, a you know finished copy when, when we were done, and that was what really turned us over and said, "Wow, publishing is a good business." Particularly when uh, Sun Microsystems, uh, the late Sun Microsystems, uh, turned down an offer to license these manuals for twenty-five thousand dollars, and less than a year later, bought a million dollars worth of printed copies. So we went, "Oh, okay." Wow. It's, it's a lot easier to sell a lot of uh, something uh, small. <coughs> Cheap it is to sell, you know, a big corporate license. So that was your uh, IBM selling, Microsoft selling DOS to IBM. Well, not really. Kind of but, it, but it was definitely, you know, <laughs> <laughs> my early career was full of happy accidents that came from this. You know, so a really great example. You know, I just, how many of you out there in the audience, you know, know the O'Reilly Animal book covers? That would be everybody. <laughs> yeah. Um, so first of all, there's a lovely aspect of that in that. Um, they were a gift to the company from somebody who we did not know. She's since worked for, for us now for, you know, better than 25 years, but she was a graphic uh, designer at Digital Equipment Corporation. Uh, her housemate came home. Basically, we, we, we had original books all had the same cover. We had a, actually a 14-year-old kid draw the image. They were called nutshell handbooks, and we had a 14-year-old kid draw the image of a not too beautiful uh, artist with pen and ink drawing. They all had that on the cover. And we realized there wasn't enough differentiation, so we hired a graphic designer, did something very geometric, high-tech. And uh, I said, it just doesn't match who we are, because we have this sort of, you know, again, going back, rolling back the clock. And at that time, 